He's already dead. <laughs> Alright, cool, thanks. <laughs> so, as you guys may have noticed, it's hella cold. Uh, it's going to be May in a couple days, and we're all wearing towels and scarves and hats. Really cool sunglasses. I like the whole Venetian blind thing you guys got going on your sunglasses. That's nice. Um, <laughs> if you know me, or if you don't know me, I'll, I'll tell you, but if you do know me, I like to make voices a lot. But I think it's funny. It's like, you know, I like to make voices, and... I do not know English. Okay. Can you tell me where the bathroom is? Oh, I understand. Thank you. You said it slower and louder. Now I can understand English too. Thank you. Down the hall to the left. That's all you have to say. Just say it louder. That's all I really wanted. I think it's, it's funny everyone has that, that kind of, um, you know, that kind of attitude towards people that can't speak English. Just say it loud. That's you know, and speaking of voices, it was funny. I started doing accents and voices when I was really little. And my brother was, was trying to teach me how to do a Scottish accent. And I got it down. And, you know, he said, you know, all Scottish people don't sound like fat bastards. He's like, they're not angry all the time. And I was like, no, I'm pretty sure they are. I feel like even if a Scottish person was given a situation that was, you know, happy, they would still be really angry about it. Like, I just got the new puppy! He's so cute! I'm going to squeeze him until he dies! Well, she's thrown, I suppose. Um, but when I think of voices, I think of, I mean, I, you know, like I said, I do a lot of voices. One voice that really... This makes my day is uh, Antonio Banderas. Because I feel like he can say anything and it would be cool. Like, I want him to narrate my day. Hola. First, Frankie wakes up in the morning. Pushes the snooze button on his alarm clock once, twice, three times. He really should be getting up for class. He's a paper due. He gets up, takes a shower, moves into the kitchen. Hola, banana. The banana is high in fiber. Consume it quickly. But uh, no, he he cracks me up. By that I mean I, I crack myself up because Antonio Banderas never says those things ever. Um, but it's it's funny because Antonio Banderas I feel like has a really really rich and powerful voice and it's kind of like Don LaFontaine, the old movie trailer guy. And first of all, let me say with with movies, you always have this thing with horror movies, right? And it's like they build up all these positive things in a, in a movie. Like they tell you everything positive about the movie. And then they add in the line, and then something went terribly wrong. Every time. That's how they hook you. So I feel like if you put Antonio Banderas as uh, the new movie trailer guy, he could sell it. He could make horror movies interesting. It, it goes something like this. Cindy was an ordinary girl. She got good grades. She had two jobs. She sponge made the elderly every weekend. She walked outside one day. It was a beautiful day. The birds were chirping. Thank you. The bees were buzzing. Buzz, buzz. Again, thank you. And the clouds were... I don't know what clouds do. But that's what they, exactly they were doing. But anyway, one day something went terribly wrong. She developed... Raptor hands. <laughs> what 
a terrible thing to have. She could not get good grades anymore because she could not hold pencils. She could not take tests. She lost her job as a secretary. You know why. And she could no longer sponge paint the elderly. You try reaching a sponge on the second shelf. Her co-worker thought it was funny to ask for a high five. Not funny at all. But um, that, that just cracks up with movies. I feel like he could, he could just, he could milk that for me. And um, I bet but I'm could. not, you know, watching movies and, and talking to myself in different voices. Um, I, I work at a camp in the summer. Aww. And yeah, I heard it all. Thank you. <laughs> Those kids, kids go, are, Addy. It's like kids just, you know, like the old saying, kids say the darndest things. <laughs> kids are so funny because they're so honest. And we had one kid, I, I won't tell you his real name. I'll, his name is John. We'll say his name is John. And John was like, he was the most whiny, irritating kid. And, and every day, be like, I, I, I don't want to go. I don't think I can do swimming today. I'm scared. <laughs> And he was also a hypochondriac. So if like someone's like, uh, I've got a nosebleed, he's like, I, I have a nosebleed too. <laughs> Your nose isn't bleeding. It's preemptive. <laughs> I, I feel like it's gonna it's gonna hemorrhage at any moment. <laughs> and so so one day we were I think we were doing fencing or something, and the, he had a helmet on and he comes to me after fencing. He goes, I think I have head lice. <laughs> I was like, you don't. You're fine. He's like, I, 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 re I would like a doctor's opinion. <laughs> Kid is 10. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm not taking you to the nurse. No, you're fine. And my co-counselor's like, look, I'll take him to the nurse and then I'll shut him up. So she takes him to the nurse. And you know when we were kids, they check for lice. And they'd use, like, I mean, you could use anything like a pencil or, you know, whatever. Something, something phallic looking just to kind of go through the hair. So they used the giant, it was like a giant uh, Q-tip. And she's going through his hair and she checks it once. And she goes, okay, you don't have head lice. And he goes, I, 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 I'm not really sure about that. Could you check again? Just for safety's sake. <laughs> he checks again, still no head lice. He gets sent back to the group and he's got this, this cool new, uh, he's got this cool new appliance he's, he's got. It's like a giant Q-tip. So he's holding this giant Q-tip and he's, you know, scratching his head. And I'm just like, I was like, Zach, that's a, I mean, uh, John. <laughs> sweet itching stick you got there. He's like, yeah, the nurse gave it to me. I was like, well, John, I hate to tell you this, but uh, God's already blessed you with ten. <laughs> I, I don't get it. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> Speaking of kids, um,